Greetings class, this is Professor Brown. This is for CST 158, uh, Lab 1. This is a, a bit of a walkthrough, and I, I know some of you have been emailing me and struggling with this, and even I think this is my uh, third or fourth <laughs> rendition of this walkthrough. Uh, this is a complicated one, and um, it's very important that uh, you get a good grasp on calculation of tonnage for HVAC and power and uh, rack space. Uh, if you're ever involved in building out a data center, it's uh, critical that you get these things right. Now, this example is very small, small in scale. Um, and uh, I've included uh, an equipment list here that is going to uh, uh, I don't include any type of pricing so we basically have an unlimited budget and the big part of that is the UPS and I'll get to that in a moment but a couple of tools to have at your disposal uh, a notepad word pad here just to make a couple of notes and a calculator because uh, it's easier to just have that at, sh at the at the ready alright so looking at the objectives we need to calculate the maximum runtime for the UPS, the total number of RUs, the available rack RUs, and uh, the total BTU output and the recommended HVAC tonnage. Um, with that in mind, you have uh, the components that are going to go into your racks, the number, the quantity, and in the explanation, I believe I say that you're going to have two 42U racks at your disposal. And that is down here, right, right here. So you're required to build out two 42U cabinets in the server room with the equipment. That's the maximum runtime of UPS. What's the maximum you used are use? What are your leftover are use? The total BTUs and everything else. So we'll fill all this in here. Uh, the first question is probably the hardest question uh, in the entire lab because we have to figure out what the runtime of the UPS is going to be. So in order to do that, um, here at the watts, watts to amps. Uh, these calculations are, are very critical. Okay, Now, what we have to pay attention to is watts equals amps times volts. Okay, Now, I give you the watts of each individual item, all right, and I give you the volts, the maximum number of volts, which is 120, all right, that is supplied. Now, in actuality, I, I'm making this a little simpler because each individual component would have its own voltage draw uh, on it. So I'm just going to go with the output of 120 to, to make the calculation a little simpler for everyone. Okay. So we need to calculate up our draw and our supply. All right. So let's work with supply first. Supply is pretty easy. Here, assume that the UPS can store up to 10 battery packs each, all right, at one kilowatt. So that's um, 10, one kilowatt times 10, that's 10, 10 kilowatts or 10,000 watts. And then we have two of them. So that is going to actually be 20,000 watts. Okay, everybody with me, I hope? So that's our supply, 20,000 watts. Our draw is going to be the calculation of all of these power outputs for the different components. So here's where the calculator comes in kind of handy. So we have 2 times 100, that's 200, plus 750, plus another 750, because 3 times 250 is 750. Uh, one firewall at 65 watts and then the two UPS is at 45 watts All right. now 
Here is a gotcha. When the power is cut off, your UPS will no longer be drawing power. So it's a, it, it won't be drawing 45 watts for itself. So take that 90 watts back. And that is your draw. Our amperage, <clears throat> our, our volts, excuse me, is going to be one twenty. All right. <clears throat> so we have all those calculations now. Going back to our formula that we had here for watts to amps. So watts, um, excuse me, where is it at here? Ah, here it is. So your watts equals your amps times your volts. Well, we have watts, we have volts. We need to figure out what our amperage is for both draw and supply. And that will give us our amp hours all right, our amperage hours. And some basic math here. All right, so watts equals amps times volts. So therefore, watts divided by volts equals our amps. So if our draw is 1765, and we divide that by 120. That gives us 14.708. Our amp hours and our supply, same, same. So 20,000 watts, watts is our supply. Divide that by our volts. It gives us 166.66 hours, amp hours. All right, so we now have our supply, and we now have our watts. They're in amp hours, so this is going to be hours. So if we then just simply do the calculation of draw into supply, It gives us 11 hours. All right. So our 11 point, say 11.33. All right. So that gives us the runtime of our UPS during the power outage. All right. And that basic, basic calculation. Now the rest of these are pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll come back to the HVAC uh, at the at the very end. But the total racks used, all we have to do is calculate our RUs. Okay. So that is going to be uh, one. I'm sorry, two. I have to do all this in my head here real quick. Two plus six plus thirty-six. Those are big servers. Plus <clears throat> one plus eight. That's fifty-three U's used. Okay, and then the next one is R U's left over. So we had 242 racks, uh, so that's 84 minus 53. We have 31 left over. Okay, so 53 and 31.
what's our total BTU output? Again, simple addition calculation because I give you that in the table per hour. So again, multiply accordingly. So that's going to be 620. 1500. Three six nine thousand two hundred and five and five hundred. These are not exact calculations. You know, I kind of just plug some numbers in there. So total BTUs is eleven eight twenty five. All right, now for the HVAC calculation, it's we, we have total wattage, we have uh, the BTUs and everything that we need. We have our draw. Um, our wattage that we're going to have here for this uh, to tons. So we have the BTU per hour, which was 11,825. We multiply that by 0.293, we get the watts. Okay, that is going to be the, the calculation. All right. And then we take the watts, we can skip all the way down here to um, the multiplier for the tonnage. Okay. And we could do that reverse. This is just the reverse of the inverse of the next one. And the tons, we can, if we knew the tons, we could keep, figure out what the watts. But in this, in this case, we are converting the BTU to the watts and then the watts to the tons. So, bring our calculator back up here. We know the BTU is at 11,825. All right. We multiply that by 0.293. That's going to give us our watts. Okay, there's our watts. Again, these are uh, cal uh, engineering calculations, so 3,000, I don't know why I'm writing this out, but I am. All right, and then the tons is just going to be that watts times that 0 0.000283. And that gives you 0.98 tons. If you round up to one ton, that's perfectly fine. All right, and that is your last calculation. So one ton, and tons is a measurement of uh, HVAC of, of air conditioner. Air conditioner units are measured in tons, uh, not like 2,000 pound tons, but tons of. Uh, air pressure or however that is I'm not an HVAC tech so um, uh, but these are different types of calculations uh, that you'll have to know for the server plus exam you may get one question like this or two questions like this on your exam um, just something you need to know so there are a couple of different formulas that you'll you'll have to uh, abide by but that's it um, uh, I had messed up on my previous videos and not doing all the math correctly from the tables. So I apologize for that for those of you who may have seen that. But uh, for going forward, those are the calculations. Those are how you compute the answer. I hope this video was informative and useful to you. And uh, we will be seeing you around. This is Professor Brown signing off. Thanks.